I'm going to show you how to remove a staple, an electrical staple. I didn't know this, and so I'm just going to make a video in case somebody else doesn't know how to do this, but these little staples right here to hold your wires, you put them on, that's what they, they hold your wires. So what happens if you put a staple on and then you need to take it out? Well, I'll show you the wrong way. This is the wrong way how I used to do it before because I didn't know. Uh, this is a, just a framer tool. It's just a nail puller. So what I used to do is I used to take it like this. I used to push the wire over and just be as careful as I could. And then I would knock it down like this. And then just keep prying it out. And then do this side. You can do that, but if you're not really careful, you can cut the wire, and if it's a live wire, first of all, you shouldn't be pulling the staples. If the wire is live, you should shut your breaker off and don't work on the live electricity. So don't do it with this, that's the wrong way. Do it like this. Just take these. These are the diagonal cutters, just the Kleins. You get these at Home Depot or whatever, and you're, just gonna, you're gonna use this like a lever. And it does matter which side you put against your wood. So you watch like this. You just take it like this. Just move your wire over. Just clamp down on it. Done. See that? I'm gonna show you one more time. So you take this edge right here, make a lever out of it. This goes against your wood. Like this. Clamp down on it. And then you can just really just pry it as much as you need and you're done. And then if you want to, you could reuse the staples, but that one's probably bent too bad where you wouldn't want to reuse it. So that's just a little trick. Hope it helps you out. You got to get you some nice, big diagonal or dike pliers, as they're called in the industry. All right, we'll see you next time.